Hello, my friends, Liberty Garden, coming to you from my office this, today. And um, just to kind of show you what I got right now, I got six cooking books for $4. And all the books in, are in very good condition, almost new condition. So I had to go return some books to the library. And um, every time I go to the library, they have a section where they sell books for a dollar, 50 cents, you know, two dollars, etc. So I always go look through there and see what they have. So this time they have really nothing good that I that piqued my interest. But I saw this cooking section there. And I started going through it. So I got this Japanese cooking book. I'm sure Uncle Al, Uncle Al will appreciate it. And all these books are real nice. You know, they're, they're full of pictures. You know, they're just, just the work on these books is worth a lot more than a dollar. I paid a dollar for this book. Here's the, the sticker that I paid for it. Take it off, I don't wanna damage the book. But it's a, it's a really nice book. Very nice print, very nice paper. Uh, so I, I, I think this is the best one of all. I, I don't really know anything about Japanese cooking. So I'm gonna learn some, some of it, or some, some Japanese cooking. Next book that I saw there for 50 cents is this uh, bread book. And this book, the paper is not very good quality or anything. The pictures are not really good quality, but it's loaded with recipes. And you know, if uh, you gotta follow the recipe basically. And if you know how to cook something, you don't need that many pictures. You, you can just kind of make sense of what's going on with the illustrations they provide. So, and for 50 cents, I said, you can't go wrong. <laughs> A bread book, I mean, it, it belongs in every pantry. So I got that as well. Then I, I saw this book. They had these series of books. They're all the same. So this one is Sea and Stream, sea and stream Cookbooks. So it's all fish cooking, mollusks, crabs, fish, etc. And again, you know, what catches my eye is, is all the wonderful pictures they have here and all the recipes. They're very well detailed. A little bit of, a little bit of the history where it's served, etc. So it's got history, uh, the place where this, this dish is unique to. Uh, it's just amazing, you know, so. Got more stuff on the back here too now. So anyway, <laughs> I was having fun. The next one, pork. I don't eat much pork and I really don't know how to cook pork too well. See, fish and pork are just kind of, I mostly cook beef and vegetables and stuff like that. But I really, pork, I kind of, other than pork chops, I don't really know much about pork. So I decided to get this book as well, 50 cents also. Again, same, same type of book. A lot of pictures, a lot of illustrations, a lot of history, which I like. The, the whole history aspect of it, I like it. And you know, where it comes from and all that stuff. So that's just... That's just nice, right? Probably it, it might also include ways to slaughter the pig and you know all these things that come before you start preparing the meat. I'm not sure, but it might have some of that. I haven't looked at it. The other one, since I like soups a lot, soups and stews, I figured, I mean, I could probably learn a few recipes from here. And again, 50 cents. It's like, man, you can't go wrong with this stuff. Yeah, you know, nice illustrations there. You know, I'm sure this thing has all kinds of stuff, combos and stuff like that. One of the one of the one of the soups that I haven't really tried much, but I kind of like them. If I, I've had them a couple of times before, it's cold soups. I know the the, the, the concept of, of soups. We usually think of soups as being hot, right? But in summer cold soups are a thing i didn't know that but apparently they are so i'm hoping that there's some cold soup recipes in, in this book anyway so again you know nice illustrations a lot of history in these books and the last one that i had there and i mostly got this one just because it's got so many pictures and and, and the quality of the book this one's the Mayo Clinic. William Sonoma cookbook. So 
I don't know what this is about. Probably some kind of healthy eating type of book. Which, believe it or not, the things they say are the healthiest for you or turn out to be not so healthy. Uh, but this is the point. Yeah, look at all that. So there's... So th this book I mostly got because it's just a lot of big pictures, very, very, a lot of white space in the pages. There's a lot of uh, just uh, instructions and uh, very, very, very spaced out instructions. It's not cluttered or anything like that. And there's an illustration for every recipe. So that's what I like the most about it. So anyway, folks, thanks for watching. This was my my big kitchen, my big uh, uh, cooking book haul from the library. <laughs> Four bucks, you know, one fifty, two dollars, two fifty, three uh, three dollars, and this one was one dollar. Four dollars, four dollars for six books on cooking. And they're all from different things, you know, soups, Japanese cuisine, pork, fish. And the last one has a little bit of everything, breads, you know. So anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.